lovies welcome to my channel craft away with may i'm may if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by to see what i have going on today if you are returning thank you so much for coming back to hang out with me i appreciate you all so very much today i will be bringing you three spring inspired diys easter diys i hope you guys enjoy them if you haven't already done so please consider subscribing liking sharing and commenting just know that those comments are only desired and not required just because i love to chat with you all and definitely hit that like button <laughs> it really helps out my channel a lot um, and it helps uh, youtube to rec recognize that um, others want to watch my content so without further ado we'll go ahead and jump into the first diy See you guys on the other side. All right, lovey. So we're going to start with our first project. And we're going to be using this wood round I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it came in a three pack. <laughs> I think I'm not sure. But I really like the quality of these. I've used their smaller ones before, but I've never used this larger size. And I really like the quality of these. So we're just going to be making um, three different types of signs. Um, and... They're very simple. So I just did some decoupage on them and some I just did some decorating, adding in florals. Um, I think I used florals on all of them today, but I really love the way they came out. And so what I'm doing here, I used some painter tape to just, I didn't really put it right in the center. I just kind of, um, I don't know. I didn't really measure it out. I just knew I wanted one side to be smaller than the, than the other. And my original thought was I was going to decoupage on the side where I put down that purple. And I want to say it was called, um, uh, what was it called? Gentle Violet. That, you guys heard that little knocking. That was me picking up the paint to see. <laughs> but, um, the, the, color of the paint came out different than how it looked in the bottle um it was close to the um lilacs on there but i was like um no i didn't like it I, it didn't show up the way i wanted to so i was like okay change of plans i'm going to use the white side so that's what i'm doing i'm just adding in my mod podge here and i'm just using um regular mod podge i did get some doc decoupage glue um i wish i had picked up several little bottles of those because i really like the texture of it but um i was just kind of saving that one so i just use regular uh, matte mod podge and i just added that on i'm using my sponge to just kind of press it down if you've been with me any length of time when i do decoupage i absolutely do not mind the wrinkles i just feel like it adds something to the piece a little bit of character if you will so i do get a little um a few wrinkles in there but nothing excessive or aggressive you know it was it was totally doable so that's all I'm doing here I didn't mean to leave so much of that because um, the last few of my videos have been decoupage so I don't really have a special technique that I switch up with or anything so it's pretty basic um, here on my channel <laughs> so I just ripped that off and it, it tore off very clean I was so excited about that <laughs> But I took off those edges and I finally found this metal ribbon at Dollar Tree. I was literally standing in the, um, uh, not floral section, but the gardening section. And so at least in my Dollar Tree, that's where they have the ribbon. And so I was like, man, I wish, because I had saw it one time there and I was like, I really wish it had, you know, I could find it again because I have so many ideas of what I want to do with it. And I just didn't want to spend a lot of money on, you know, buying it somewhere else until I had an opportunity to play around with it to see if I really liked it. So when right literally as I was thinking that, I had bent over to look at um, another box of ribbon and something told me just to pull it out. <laughs> they had a whole full box of these. <laughs> I was so excited. Yay! So I did get six. So I got two of each style that they had. And they only had three different styles. So I got a total of six. So what I'm doing here, once I get that glued on, I did use hot glue. I, I probably should have added in a heavier adhesive or stronger adhesive, but nonetheless, it's going to work, you know, just for the sake of the video, something I can always go back and adjust at any time. So what I did here was on that purple, again, I just didn't like the contrast with the napkin and the metal ribbon. So I went in and added some white, uh, white paint by Folk Art. And then I just took a baby wipe and wiped that down. And so I don't know if it was Kathy Joe or Brenda who did that. And I was like, that's pretty neat. I really like that technique. So I, it came to me when I was doing this 
And I'm kind of glad, you know, um, I did it because it really made the piece um, come together a lot better. So now I just clipped off the stems from the lilacs and I'm just laying them in. And guys, I tell you guys, I'm not a bow maker. I don't know how to arrange flowers. I just go with whatever makes me smile. <laughs> you know, I just, until I get it right, basically. And so I just, um, my thought was originally to create a swag with it, but I was like, nope, that's not what I want to do. That's not the vision I had. So like I said, I just snipped off those ends of them and I just added them in like three pieces to each, each side there. And then I added in two in the middle because this type of sign, I wanted to pay homage to Good Friday. So I wanted to, um, pay, you know, do the three cross on here. And so I was just like, okay, cause I'm not, like I said, I'm not doing a lot of wording on my napkins that I'm going to be using. Um, they do have some wording on them, but I wanted to just show that, um, make, do more imaging than actual uh, burbage, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense, guys. But if not, just follow along. You see what I'm doing. So also to just let you guys know, I do slow it down in certain spots. And then certain spots I speed up just because I kept so much footage in trying to capture everything for you guys. So in order for me to get all that in a, a, a good video, I had to speed some parts up. But these are, you know, simple easy techniques if i felt like i was doing something that i really need to explain more in detail i would have definitely slowed it down and you guys can always let me know in the comments and i can clarify anything that you don't you know understand in the video so right there i had these butterflies that i ordered off of amazon last no those butterflies some came from amazon and some came from michael's and so i absolutely love these like it just went in so so good and um I just think this is the most beautiful piece. I, I I feel like this is probably gonna be my favorite, my favorite number two, and then the my, the next I think it's the next one is my number one. But um, this one just came together very nicely. So what I also did was take some of those miniature um, wood palettes or planks from Dollar Tree. I glued two of them back to back, where the little legs or feet or whatever you want to call them. I glued those together to make just like a little bit of a lift there like um a palette basically and then i had these mini vases that i picked up from daiso they were only a dollar fifty or dollar they were either a dollar fifty or dollar yeah dollar fifty or dollar seventy five when i purchased them um and they're very similar to like a dollar tree plus and so i thought this was real cute so that was i forget the name of those flowers ligapore or something like that I, I forget the name of what they call them but they were not the lilacs so but i still felt like they went cute here so this was just like a whole purple arrangement and it went really well with the purple egg i did last week <laughs> so right there you can see where i put the two palettes together i'm going in with some of my half beads that i had painted in that that um gentle uh violet color to add to the front just so to add something you know a little extra to it so it's not so plain jane then i wanted to add the moon here <laughs> and i just did a light dab in the ivory paint and put it right there and at the end you'll see where i go in and add the other two crosses because i forgot to do it here but i thought i added that information in here but i guess not so <laughs> or that shot in here but you'll see it in the final reveal. So next up, I got this cutting board from Michaels. They were originally $9.99 and they're on sale right now for $5.99. And I love these. Like the little piece in the middle or at the bottom there. Um, it's not a lip, but it has a little gap in it, I guess, or a, a well. I don't know what you want to call that. <laughs> but I mean, I so many things just start flooding through my mind. Like, um, I was like, oh my God, you could do so much with, with this. But... I had some tissue paper that I had been wanting to use and so I knew the color of that tissue paper would look beautiful on this cutting board so it's not going to be used for cutting but cutting this let me say this way it's going to be used for decorative purposes only it's easier to say it that way so I got this beautiful tissue paper paper from Hobby Lobby and it has the words um, grace faith love and I just love that. And it has all the different style of crosses on that. And look at that. You cannot tell that it's not part of the board. I was like, oh my goodness. When you say perfect match, that's what you're talking about right there. <laughs> so of course I did some distressing and I intentionally left wrinkles on this one because I wanted that vintage 
old rugged cross look that was the song that just kept going over and over in my mind and at the end of this i thought you know what those that i should have used those words in that bottom part the old rugged cross like i love that song it's just such a touching and sentimental song for me and so but i decided to do flower arrangements on these pieces for the most part just to get the practice in but i just go in distressing it with some burnt umber i didn't add no paint to this at all guys other than that burnt umber and i was like this is just like the perfect piece like it just uh, and it's a good size and it has a good weight to it because michael's carried another cutting board kind of similar to this one and it's pricier than this one on a regular but it's not as thick as this one and i thought like you know what i i really feel like i should have stacked up i should have got like three of them because <laughs> i had so many ideas for them but nonetheless i'm going in with this pre-made burlap ribbon or bow and then this other gingham one in the it's they're both in like the burlap colors but one has like a checkered print to it a, a gingham print rather and so i just put those up there because again my bows are not the best <laughs> so now i'm just taking some wood stems now i got this for fall but to me they had the, they had a mix of colors in there and i was like you know what this really can transition into spring if you set it up right but if not it can still be a part of your everyday decor which this is what this piece is going to be done i felt like this piece tied into spring and easter and also everyday decor all in one so i just like you know what i'm gonna roll with this and see what happens and i love it guys I love it oh my goodness I love it so much this is my number one I absolutely love this like I said because it just brought back memories of that song the old rugged cross and um, I'm just going away I'm just going in gluing everything down I'm, I'm not a, I do not know how to arrange flowers I don't I don't know about that stuff what is it a botanist or whatever they're called I don't know that's not me that's not me <laughs> But I just went with it until I felt good about it. And then I got nervous, like, oh, this is going to look more fall. But then I was like, well, the napkin has a lot of earth tones to it, you know. So I'm like, I think I can pull this off. And I, you guys have to let me know what you think. If I did it or if I should go back and redo it with some different color flowers, let me know. But that's all I'm doing here. I'm playing around literally, guys. And I, like I said, I, I left a lot of content in so you guys could see. But unfortunately, I had to speed it up. So all I'm doing here is just cutting down. If they have any little stems on the back of them, I'm just cutting those down so I can hot glue it in. And again, I did this with hot glue because, as you know, you know, if you want to change this around. So say, you know, when fall does come around and I get more darker um, colored flowers and I want to add that in there. It'll be easy to transition those in and out. But I don't see me changing this. I'm telling you, I absolutely love the color combination of this. And it exceeded my expectations. So I was so well pleased with this piece specifically. <laughs> and so I'm just going in with my final pieces, gluing them in. No rhyme, no reason, guys. And I think this was just an absolutely beautiful piece and i oh and i took some of the coin i think they're called medallion leaves or plants or something like that and i love those colors and these were like just a mix of colors like some brights some some darks some lights like it was just it's like a laundry of of, of flowers guys <laughs> a laundry basket of flowers the the lights the darks and the whites it's um and the mixed colors and so next I felt like it still needed something at the top um and i just went in with a one of those um laser cutout crosses from dollar tree and i really like that it's kind of similar to the style of the crosses you see on the board and i thought you know what that would look really cute just dangling from there i was going to try to put it like on the um lip part of the bow but I was like, nope, you know what? I'm going to just put it right in the middle and let it dangle. And so I just absolutely love this piece. Like, it's such a, a simple piece, but it speaks volume to me, you know? So you guys have to let me know what you think. And so next, I added in some more of these butterflies. And I have several different colors. Now, these butterflies, that particular, these ones, they, those came from um, 
Dollar Tree in the garden section. I think it was like 32 pieces or something like that. I know it was over 30 pieces. I'm not sure, 32 or 36. But you get a great amount for $1.25. And so, again, I'm thinking, can I pull this off for spring, for Easter? And I absolutely think I did. And again, like I said, this is going to be one of my everyday decor pieces. So, it really didn't matter to me. <laughs> If it did tie in with East, like spring or summer, you know, because I'm going to keep it up all year round, like regardless. And it, it ties well into my colors, my, my color scheme. So that was it for that one. And then our third and final project of today, I got this beautiful plate from Dollar Tree and they only had this one. They had several bowls and cups and things, but they did not have any other uh, plates like this. So I got this napkin um, last year from Hobby Lobby and it says he is risen so I absolutely love this of course I saved them because I, I bought the pack and I've been trying <laughs> I've been sharing because I'm like I have so many napkins and I know it's way more than I need so you know you 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 should be a grateful giver and that's what I am so I'm trying to disperse a lot of this stuff out because I'm starting to feel like a hoarder, guys. I really am. Like, I live in a teeny tiny apartment, and when I tell you guys, I have bins stacked to the walls. I got bins stacked to the walls, the walls, the walls, the closets. It's it's everywhere. <laughs> it's even my kitchen now, but it's, it's, it's a lot. But, um... So all I'm doing here is I'm just sh shredding it out. Now I was I am gonna use these, but I didn't use the um, crosses as I originally intended. But I did end up using I think I used one or two. I know one for sure. I can't really remember, guys. But I'm using that peacock color from Waverly, y'all. I'm so excited about using my Waverly paint. I really am, and I absolutely love this plate. Let me back up a minute. I love this plate. I love the colors on this plate is what I love because I'm a pink girl, so I love pink. I don't care what kind of pink it is. I love pink. It's just beautiful to me, but I love the, the colors, the pastel colors on here, the artwork on this plate, and when I saw it, I instantly thought about the He Is Risen sign, and when I tell y'all it blended perfectly, I cannot believe it. The only thing, and I'm not sure of what happened here because I did wipe the plate down. I cleaned it, everything. I went in, put the Mod Podge down. I put the napkin down, but it it's almost like, um, not, I want to say like it disintegrated the paper, but it didn't. It just, it made it a weird texture. And I'm not sure what I did wrong or if I did anything wrong. But it gave it a weird texture, so I just kept kind of playing around with it because I remember um, I was watching one of Kathy Joe's shows, and she was like, make sure your brush is um, really moist if you have to go back in there. So I did that, but it still just gave this weird, scaly like texture, but you can't really tell. So I was still pleased with it. I think it still blended very nicely, but you guys can just definitely let me know if I, you know, if you can tell or not. So next up, I wanted to create a little swag for this plate. And I'm just going in with some more of the Dollar Tree um, florals. And that, I don't know what the other one is called. That little long thingy there. I'm not sure what it's called. But I got it last year um, in the floral section. And then these, these uh, mint, I call them mint colors. <laughs> uh, they are, um, what are they called? I can't think of the name of them. Right now, is I'm drawing a blank on them, but um, I want to say daffodils, but that is not what they are. <laughs> ah, what are these things called? Oh well, it's not important. I just went for the color anyway, so I added that to it. I added some greenery to it, and it just came like out like a, a dumbbell almost to me. That's the first thing that came to mind, but like a really flower bow. <laughs> But that's what it is. So I set that off to the side because I did not want to hide my words. Um, I just love this piece because all the colors just came together so perfectly. Like the green you can't really tell from my camera, but it's there. And I was like, this is like, you would not be able to tell outside of the scaly looking of that napkin <laughs> that this didn't come like this. So I'm just taking some of the nautical rope and I'm wrapping that around a couple of times. Nothing fancy because I'm going to take one of those crosses and I'm going to place that 
on there. So it doesn't have to be like a perfect wrap around with a perfect knot. You know, you just need something for it to adhere to and something for it to also adhere to the surface you're trying to put it on. So that was my main goal here. I just worked it out. I think I went around probably about three or four times, more or less, I think three, more than four. <laughs> That's why I'm leaning towards. I think I only did three because I didn't like four, but nonetheless, you do what, do what makes you happy in your crafting and that's what worked for me. So yeah, I did three. And so like I said, I'm putting that over to the side, adding in my Gorilla Hot Glue and getting it down. And this plate was freezing, it was so cold this night, guys. <laughs> I was shaking it, but the plate was like ice cold, like I had got it out of the, out of the ice box. But nonetheless, it stuck. I was worried about that. I'm like, I may have to pull out the E6000 or the, uh, my heavy duty Gorilla Glue, but it worked. Um, and then, so there's where I'm going in and putting in that cross. And I'm just, and I didn't paint the back of those. It was no need because, again, it's going to be facing down. And I think I added another one in here. Or a butterfly. I think I added butterflies here. Because I was originally going to put the three crosses on here. But the shape of the plate, um, it wasn't going to work. I, I could see them um, popping off. So... I'm going to use more of those butterflies. These are a green pack that I got from Dollar Tree. And I love these butterflies. Like they come in four different sizes, I want to say. Four or five different sizes. I love them. I've used them on quite a bit of my projects. Some on camera and off. But I absolutely love, <laughs> love them. It's so gorgeous. So that's all I'm doing here. Adding in a couple more butterflies. I think I added in two more towards the bottom, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yep. I do. I do. Right there. And I think this is just absolutely beautiful. Just to sit out. And I did add in some lights off camera. Um, just because when I did the staging. I was like. Huh. You can't really tell. Like. I don't know. It's missing something. So I added in some of the twinkle lights. And my goodness guys. It's so gorgeous. So so gorgeous. I also added twinkle lights to the little mini vase too. On the purple um piece that we did and you'll see that coming up as well and i added in a sticker on there that said good friday and look how pretty that looks i love this purple like i love the color combination i absolutely do i think it's just beautiful the way it came together it, it like i said it exceeded my expectations but my goodness it's so beautiful and i love this grace love and faith sign it is just a reminder of you know the blood that was sacrificed for us so i had to pay homage to that and i just think it was absolutely beautiful see how that tied in with my purple egg I'm like, oh, that's so cute so beautiful i love this i love it i love it and here is our he is the reason and you know i'm sorry he is he is the reason i'm thinking about christmas <laughs> he's the reason for the season but he has risen i absolutely love this all of it so you guys have to let me know what you think if you have stuck around all this time and continue this ride with me I appreciate each and every one of you please remember to subscribe like comment and share um, especially comments and likes I love getting the comments because I love interacting with you guys it always makes my heart smile when I see a comment pop up and I try to answer everybody and say thank you because I truly 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 appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to come and hang out with me it means the world to me <laughs> you guys have no idea so let me know which one was your favorite like I said the the cutting board was my number one and then the purple was number two and the plate was number three but let me know what you're like uh or if you didn't like them you can share that with me too i don't get offended by that you know but let me know which was your one two and three favorite and um that's it guys so before i wrap up remember to fall in love every day Every day you have an opportunity to open your eyes is an opportunity to fall in love with at least one something that day. So always look for the good, the happy, the positive, and everything that comes your way. Because it only comes for a season, but it will pass. And it will be something glorious waiting for you. So always remember that. So with all that being said, I won't take up any more of your time, lovies. Okay, so be safe. Be kind. And happy crafting your days away. And I hope to see you all in the next video.